gonna horn and run. Ew. What the fuck is that? runs i listen to audiobooks or podcasts but today i decided to listen to music if you want to increase your running distance and your mile time listen to music it's also very 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 hot it's my turn around point i'm headed home now is that a tractor i'm out on this lake lake trail My favorite snack recently has been dark chocolate chips with uh, peanut butter, just scooping it. I've got a couple of questions on this thing and specifically the settings that I'm using for uh, for for this day, I figured I would uh, I'd go through what my current settings are for for this. A little disclaimer: I'm still trying to to dial this thing in. If I change things, I'll, I'll let you know. Okay, I figured this would probably be the easiest way to show you. So first off, you'll notice that this screen has a there's a weird grid in it. So I do actually have the the grid enabled, and to do that, you just scroll down, and you'll see the grid icon right here. If you push that once, it'll turn blue and the grid is on. I like this because it helps me frame my shots up a little bit better and I feel like it just makes the shots, makes the shots a little more balanced and not to mention level. No, nobody likes that. The second thing that I do is I actually change the picture profile. If you swipe to the right, you'll see all these different options pop up and I think it comes in a neutral color profile. I chose vivid just mostly because it has more saturation and I'm going to add saturation after the fact so I might as well just let the camera do the work. The next thing that I did was I actually brought the sharpness down mostly because if it's too sharp it kind of looks like too it looks too action cami and I want it to match this camera as much as I can so to do that I'm just going to swipe down go over to the settings button scroll down go to video sharpness and I think it was set to high I just set it to medium but you can do you have four options low medium high and highest and if I ever wanted to add sharpness back I can just do that in post it's not like if I just if I select medium sharpness here I'm not committed to that forever and then the last thing that I did that honestly I think makes this camera really powerful and is the main reason that I use it and not to mention it keeps the the battery life pretty much good for the entire day like I shot a wedding with this thing and it only used 80% battery. With all that being said, it's going to be the quick capture fe feature. So to get to that, you can get to it a couple ways. You can swipe, swipe down and go to settings, or you can just click this rocket ship looking thing and turn it on. And basically what that lets me do is if the camera is completely off and I want to capture something, all I have to do is hit the record button on the top or on the side with the, the go module and within a couple of seconds it's recording and if you noticed it had three seconds on there meaning as soon as I hit the record button it started recording it just took a second for the module to actually boot up but that is one of the main reasons that I, I like this camera is because it doesn't have to be on to start recording I can literally just hit a single button and the entire camera boots up for me and it just it simplicity is the key with stuff like this that's what I'm using right now uh, it's probably gonna change if I'm being completely honest with you 